Do you like science fiction and survival? I have the anime for you. It's called Sunny Boy. It aired on July 16th. There's currently two episodes out. A third one's coming out soon. It's made by Studio Madhouse. They've made a lot of classic animes such as Perfect Blue, Paranoia Agent, Paprika, Trigon. The list goes on. It's a lot of really great stuff, but a bunch of it is actually paranormal and sci-fi kind of mind bendery animes. In fact, one of my favorite animes of all time was made by Madhouse, Boogie Pop Phantom, and then the later sequel, Boogie Pop and Others. If you guys like this content, please give us a thumbs up. It really super helps us out. And if you also like to watch more continuing anime content, hit the subscribe button too. It's super helpful and you guys will get more information, more videos from us. The first episode is kind of interesting. It throws you directly into a situation without giving you any kind of context around it at all. Uh, these kids are trapped inside of a school building and they're completely isolated from the rest of society. No idea why or how they got there. So the kids are school aged and they're trapped in this building. They're trying to figure out how they can get out, what they can do to survive. They have to start immediately creating like some sort of a social order to make sure that people are kept in line. Some people resist it. There's a lot of really kind of interesting like basic survival mechanics that you get that are addressed in the first episode. The twist to it and what brings the complications and also even more of a sci-fi element is the fact that some of these kids have powers and they don't even really seem to understand like what their powers are so a lot of them are kind of learning some of the things that they're able to do and to make it even more mysterious they're not even really telling like the others what these powers are and so sometimes they just kind of reveal them like as the moment calls for it as far as the animation style goes there's a lot of people that are going to be immediately turned off to it it's it's kind of an older style of anime things are a little bit softer a little less high definition than what a lot of people are used to if you've seen and enjoyed something like Paprika or even the older Perfect Blue, you probably won't mind it too much. I actually personally enjoyed it. To me, it was kind of like a comfort feeling to go back to kind of this older anime style. I think the audio overall was pretty decent. It's There's really nothing to write home about one way or the other. There's nothing overly bad or overly good. And that kind of goes the same with the music too. There's kind of just basic tracks and stuff. Everything fits well. It just doesn't kind of blow you away or, you know, take you to a new universe. So I've watched the first two episodes that are out so far, and I have to say I'm very, very intrigued to find out what happens next. There's kind of a lot of mystery with the characters. It doesn't start off so heavy in the first episode, but if you stick through it at least into the second episode, I feel like it's going to give you a lot better grasp over how you feel about it overall and if you want to keep watching. So I would suggest to everyone, if you do check it out, at least watch the first two episodes before making up your mind if it's something that you just don't care about. With that, I want to thank everybody for coming in. You guys have been awesome. The support has been huge and I'm really, really liking doing these little anime snippets where I'm talking about new stuff that's coming out. Keep on the lookout. As the season progresses, we're going to be making more videos about some of these animes that we've talked about before. We're going to go back and after we've seen a bulk of the season, we're going to give a more prepared overview of how we feel about them. Also, if you guys hang around till the end of this video, you'll also see some videos posted up. There'll be a button where you can subscribe and then something cool that you'll probably like that's from us as well. Once again, I'm Dre with Yokozo Otaku. And I'll catch you on the next one.